Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Now, I wasn't going to make any more videos this week. I was just done for the week. I think I'm on like my third or fourth one this week. I don't know, it's been, it's been a lot. But I thought, what YouTuber would I be if I didn't do a New Year's Eve glam holiday look party like tutorial thing? So today we're going to be doing something that involves a lot of glitter, something that involves a lot of glam and a lot of patience. And let's get started. Here I have with me one of um, the Christmas presents that I got. This one is from my lovely sister Emma, and it's the. Um, it magic professional cosmetics beauty glitter palette I'm sorry it's so hard to read it and here we have many different colors of glitter I dipped into this one last week for Christmas and it was very nice and it stayed on all day so I want to try out the white Maybe like the white or the silver one today I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, yeah, you know, I always wing it. There's no like definite look that I always go for. But let's get started. So, with my Too Faced Best Year Ever 2018 palette, I'm gonna go in with one of the lightest shades on top. And one is just, I think this one is matte, while this one has a bit of a shimmer. So, let's go in with Why Not at the top with the same brush that I have been using for like seven years. And it never gets old. It's just so good. And we are just highlighting underneath the brows and just giving it a nice base so we can start off with our eye look. Next with my 205 Tampa Blending Brush from my Lexi brush, we're going to go in with Coffee First right in the middle of the palette and use this as our transition shade. Next with my Luxie 227 blending brush, I'm taking the shade next door, Snooze You Lose, just to deepen up the crease a little bit. And then we're gonna go in with a very fun shade of mine. Next, I'm going to dip into Jeffree Star's Beauty Killer Palette. This has been used and abused to the max. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. I mean, I, I mean, if the star is still there, I wouldn't say it's that bad, but the pink, the, definitely the purple and the white have been muchly appreciated. However, I think I want to go in with the pink today the pink um star power Blah. star power with my morphe m441 brush and i want to use this yeah this is like the best pink that i have and i just want to take this on the outer v and smoke it out I just feel like New Year's Eve shouldn't just be all like gold and glitter. I feel like it should also have some color to it as well. I'm just going to change my brush to the Luxie 227 blending brush, the one that we use for the darker brown and that transition shade. And I'm going to go in with the same color, Star Power. And now I'm just putting it on the inner corner and creating a halo effect for my eyes. Also, drag that color up into right above your crease. You don't really have to fill it in on the lid because that's where the glitter is gonna go, but 
you can if you'd like. Lastly, I'm going to use my NYX Glitter Primer, and this is broken, it's so embarrassing, but I'm going to use my Pure Cosmetics, it's like a flat packing brush, and I like to use this just to evenly spread out the glitter glue, and then to eventually spread out the glitter nicely. It's just really flat and easy to get on your eye. I'm going to use this palette next for this silver shade right here. And you can really use any glitter that you'd like to use. Oh, but I think the pink would look nice. Still gonna go in with this one. And these are just very um, easy to work with. Like one swipe and your brush is already filled with the glitter and even with your finger. They're just so delicate, like you don't even have to press in your finger that much. You already have a lot on your finger already. So I'm just gonna place what's on my finger on my eye. I don't feel like wasting glitter. And then put the rest on with what's on my brush. And you guys saw, I only did like one little swipe. You don't really have to put a lot of glitter. What I like about this palette is that it's not loose glitters like I know uh, I don't want to get it out right now but what is it I know NYX they come in like these little containers and they're almost like I call them little salt shakers because you can literally pour the glitter out and just sprinkle it out onto like a little plate and then go from there and I guess it's convenient when you're mixing glitters, but I don't see the reason to do I never had to do that. And I don't think people actually do that. But these are very nice because they're right here in the palette. Just one swipe and you're ready to go. And there's no mess. As you can tell, there's no fallout. And that's really good. Now that we have the glitter on, I'm just going to go back in with the pink. And you could use... Any brush, I'm using my Luxie 227, and I'm just going to go back in and blend the pink right along the edges of the glitter so everything mixes well and there's no sharp lines. Kind of tinted the, um, the glitter too. Now I'm just going to finish up my face. I'm going to start off using the Morphe Translucent Setting Powder. And I think I told you guys before I really don't like baking. So I'm just going to take a normal powder brush and just pack it underneath the eye and then quickly wipe it away. Using this big sucker, I'm going to pop open the left side of the palette to look at the blushes. And I think whenever I see blushes like together, I just want to mix them all. But I'm going to use the lightest shade. Ugh. And this is just a big Morphe brush that I have in like a huge set. I'll show you guys. And I never used this before, so oh my god, I made a mess. <laughs> but uh, 
It's brand new and I'm gonna try it. Hmm. It may be too big of a brush for the pan. Oh, actually. Mm. Oh boy. Okay. I thought the brush was like too big for the pan that I was using, but it is not disappointing with the color, the pigment. Ooh. Oh, my cheeks are rosy. Okay, that's a little bit too much color for me, so I'm just going to tone it down with the lash brush that we used for the translucent setting powder. Oh my god, do you guys see that? That's so funny. Okay, we're just going to have to go with that. So, as I was saying, the brush came in like this huge set that I got. And it's really cute because it's just really cute because it closes like this and it's nice and tiny. Don't have to worry about it being all big and clunky. And they came with a lot of brushes. And I believe. I forgot how much this was, but it was a really good deal. It's still on the Morphe website today. And I'm gonna go in with their second big brush for the contour. And I'm gonna use my little hourglass. It's in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. And why do I always do my finger into things? This was a good brush for the contour. And I love the, the hourglass contour shades because they're not too warm, but they're not too um, light at the same time. They're right in the middle, I like, like like an ashy tone, and they're so easy to work with. They're not that matte either, so they do have a little sheen to them, which just, just gives your skin like a really healthy glow. how pink my cheeks are. I mean, in the dark, looks fine. Shine light on me, and it looks like I just got slapped. <laughs> For highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit with my Laura Mercier Cheek Color Brush. And I'm gonna use... <laughs> I'm gonna use the orange and peachy tones right here. And the shades are Eclipse and Lyra. Mm. Now it's New Year's Eve and let's go out with a bang. So don't be afraid to put on some highlight. I know. To blind everyone is not for everyone. However, I'd like to walk past someone and give them a medical bill because my highlight was so strong. That's just me. I don't know about everybody else. I'm gonna use the same shade, Luna, with my NARS number 12 brush to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner. This really looks good and blends together with the silver glitter that I did as well. And 
now I'm going to use Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And using the bottom part of my MUA brush, I'm going back in with the pink just to smoke things out at the bottom of my lash line. I'm not going to go in too heavy underneath the eyes because I don't want to distract anything from the glitter on top. And to finish everything off, I'm going with the Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Her, I believe birthday oh my god don't kill me birthday collection i'm not sure guys but i'm gonna use the color surprise me it goes with this look mm. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to leave a comment down below what you guys think. And please leave a like down below. And don't forget to just... <laughs> and I hope you guys have a lovely New Year's Eve. Have a lot of fun. Be safe. And enjoy the break. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.